Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't call you yesterday. But I'm glad I saw you online now. Good morning. Yes, yes. I'll check. As soon as I enter the car, I'll confirm and I'll get back to you. Yeah. So you know, I was thinking, what um, was the best approach? Hello, Kester. L listen, listen. Yeah. As I speak with you right now, I'm on my way to the airport. But this is so sensitive. We need to handle it as quick as possible. Oh, okay, all right. I'll let you know when I land. Yes, talk to you later. Yes. I'm already checking it as we speak, darling. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, Nicole, you know, that won't work. You know how my company started. It started with Ronnie and now I'm on my own. That's why I really need your help with this. <laughs> Training and development, what else would I be interested in? Training, of course. I mean, we'll focus on the company's um, rules, regulation, and generally, you know, the company's policies. Don't worry, Nicole. I'll do a great job. You won't regret this. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. How are you? I'm good. Are you on your way back? No, I had to travel. What? Another day travel I got the call to go fix up some things in Abuja. So you're telling me you're in Abuja right now? Yes, I am. Typical. Wasn't that how you traveled to Pugia and told me two days after you got there? Samantha, I told you that was because we were taken to a remote area and there was no network there. Oh, really? And then what happened to your phone all when you were on the way to the airport? And how about when you went to Port Harcourt? Now, now listen, Samantha, I didn't call you uh, because of all of this, okay? I will only be spending the night. Of course, you only call to fulfill all righteousness. Enjoy your stay in Abuja. I've got to go. I've got things to do. And so do I. I'll talk to you later. Hello? Ronnie? Are you okay? What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Tomorrow is okay. I'll send you the address. All right, see ya. living in Lagos, that's what we had to put up with. So tell me, what are we looking at? Oh, yes. Um, well, you know our goal is to identify the 
narrative for the campaign. So we will be managing the designers, the copywriters, and the video production company working with us. So I will need you to assist me while I set up Gorius Communications. And what exactly is Gorius asking for? Oh, they want me to set up and lead their UI and UX team. Hmm. And how are you going to manage the conflict of interest? Kester, you and I know that there is no conflict anywhere. I, I mean, it's just that we're in the same industry. And besides, we're not after the same client. Hmm. Okay, but you know boss isn't going to see it that way. And why do you think I asked you to come over for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, um, that is why I'm here. You know that uh, the position of the creative director is a big one for me. Yeah, sure. And I won't allow anything to put out it. Mm -hmm. And I know you won't too. Of course, definitely. So I would need you to watch my back and cover up for me while I go set up Gloria's communications. I understand. And you have nothing to worry about. Hi. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. Hi. So good to see you. Being here. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Anyway, how is Desmond? He's fine. He's, um, he's well. How are you? Truthfully, things have been very tough. I wish our business worked out. But anyway, what are you doing now? I resigned two years ago and I started a training and development hub. What? I had to revive it. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I mean, we got it together and here you are living the life. Oh. Ronnie. Samantha, I'm, I'm homeless. What? When our business together didn't work, I met this guy. We were supposed to get married, so we saved up some money. He disappeared with everything. Now I'm down to my last Naira. Ronnie, that bad? Samantha, I have nowhere to stay tonight. Jeez. Rita, have you had anything to eat today? Okay, let's start by getting you fed, okay? Uh, waiter! Oh, I'll be going back and forth with Ruja. And then I'll need you to come in. Watch out for me. Oh, okay. Oh, you're back. Yes, I told you I was going to return today. Hi, Desmond. Good to see you. Hi, Ronnie. Same here. Nice to see you too. Hi, Kester. Hello, Samantha. Okay, so, um, Ronnie will be staying with us for a while. Excuse me. <laughs> Still here and uh, my agent will figure out what to do. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, just you're welcome. Thanks for reaching out. And I'm glad you reached out to me. I had no choice. The one person I know I could rely on, no matter our differences in the past. You know, I really don't know why our partnership didn't work out. But honestly, I really wish it did. <laughs> it didn't work out because we wanted the same thing, but in different ways. We can both run different companies and collaborate. I like that. <laughs> Alright, so feel free. Just make yourself comfortable. I will go upstairs. Okay. Change and come back with the after. What's going on? Oh. What is Ronnie doing in our guest room? And you don't think it was right for you to run it through me first? Well, you were in Abuja. But I told you I was coming back! Well, I didn't hear it. That was because you were not listening! Listen, what is this conversation about, Desmond? 
Why do I have to run anything by you? You don't do the same with me. I mean, listen, if you had told me that you were bringing Rani to the guest room, I would have told you I was coming home with Pesta to come stay with us for a few days to work. Oh, so this conversation is about how my friend should sleep on the streets while yours occupies our room. Samantha, get that room cleared, please. Okay? Well, the guest room is occupied. There's another room available for use. Wait, 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 hold on. You mean you want me to put Kesta in that room where we dump all sorts of things? I believe there's a hotel around here. It's an option you might be willing to consider. Really? Hey, uh, 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 cut! She won't get on me. Yes, sir. My servant Kesta are on it, sir. Uh, we'll present what we have early next week, sir. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Is he comfortable with us presenting next week? Yes, he is. I mean, this is good. You know, the interesting thing is that should I need to travel to Abuja, we would have done enough. Okay. Mm. And yes, um, I think we need to do content syndication across our sales and marketing platforms. We can actually start working on it as soon as we get to the office. That's a good idea. What are we waiting for? Yeah. Okay. I wish with all my heart that we can go back to the start when we ah. were so deep in love. It was more than enough, and forever ah. was a guarantee. Can feel your love, though you're right next to me. It's easy enough to see, to see. We're drifting apart, and it's hard to believe that my better half is sleeping away. We're only inches apart, but why does your heart feel so far away? And when it's all said and done, there's no other one I'd rather fight life's battle with. Don't know how we got here, but I'm so filled with fear that the love we have will slowly drift away. So I'll give up my pride before it's too late to say. What's happening to you? It's cramps, I'll be fine. Cramps. Should we be on my way to the hospital? This looks serious. No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah. Yes. Sorry, okay? So sorry. Sorry, 
does your heart feel so far away from me? And when it's all said and done, there's no other one I'd rather fight life's battle with. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got it now. All right, okay. I will let her know. Okay, okay. See you soon. Uh, okay. I don't understand. The way you were looking at me. And how was I looking at you? Look, um, I actually went in there to give her the information I got from my husband. And I met her on the floor. Hmm. And you felt it was okay to climb on top of her? What do you mean, climb on top of her? Come on, she's not a kid that I can easily lift off the floor. I had to position that way so I'll be able to carry her up. Well, it didn't look that way to me. So how did it look to you? Because I wouldn't want you misinterpreting this. Listen, you're explaining too much, okay? Well, I had to because of the way you looked at me. Okay. Forget about how I looked at you. You said you were not trying to do anything to her, right? Then it's fine.
exactly what you read. No, I just don't understand what I just read. Desmond, I wrote simple English. That you saw my friend Kester on top of my wife? Exactly. Well, I just wanted to let you know. Thank, thank you, thank you. that you both had. I would have told you where he went to. But I can't find him where I kept him. yesterday. Answer me! Um, your wife. Yeah, I saw her on the floor in your room. What floor? I was trying. Your bedroom floor. Ah. How dare you walk into my bedroom? What's going on? How dare you disrespect me? Uh, okay. Okay. What exactly is going on here? needed me to give you an information that he won't be coming home. Then on getting to your room, I, I knocked, no response, only to discover that the door was open. And walking in, I'm trying to let you know that I was coming in and I found you on the floor squatting. Yes, I needed to squat because I needed to find a comfortable position. I wasn't comfortable on the bed. What's going on? And then I thought something had happened since calling your name and shaking you did not work. Then Ronnie walked in. What exactly did you tell my husband? The truth? That I saw him on top of you? Oh, like we were making out? I didn't give those details. Okay, so what details exactly did you give to my husband that made him come home gun blazing? Samantha, I was only looking out for you. How? By making my husband believe that I'm cheating on him? Were you not there when I was in pain? Ronnie, did you not give me the medication that knocked me off? Well, I left you on the bed and came back to see you on the floor with him over you. But I explained to you that I was trying to get out. Okay, Ronnie. What she just did was very, very stupid. Listen, listen. I don't care. I don't want to know if you can or you cannot. I want you out of my house this minute. Nonsense. in here with unverified information? What were you expecting me to do? It's all like you denied being on top of And we're obviously making love with my clothes on. Well, anything is possible. Well, I am not you. That was three years ago, Samantha. Why I was married to you. Listen, that's one incident you need to let go of. Let me tell you something, Desmond. In all my years of being with you, I've not had one single incident. You have no right to walk in here and accuse me like I'm some sort of a whore. Then I did what I had to do. I called your sister. Do what? You heard me. I did what I had to do. I called your sister. You're unbelievable, Gino. You know like I can.
Tamata, I was waiting for you to come down so I can explain exactly what happened. To okay, you. that's fine. I'm not going to be rush. Explain. The way I saw him shocked me. Hmm. So you quickly called my husband to come rescue me? I only sent him a message to caution his friend. Now tell me, what exactly was he doing to me? He was practically sitting on top of you. Was I awake? No. Was I undressed? No. Was he undressed? No. Why exactly did you tell my husband? Why exactly did you have to text him? Shouldn't you have stayed there to know exactly what he was doing to me? So you know if it's something I should tell my husband myself? Samantha. Excuse me. You created a, a horrible impression about me and, 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 and Kester to my husband. I mean, this is my marriage, Ronnie. And things like this can ruin it. Samantha, I'm You I'm knew exactly what you were doing, Ronnie. Now what I want you to do is get in there, get your things and get the hell out of my house right now. going on. hearing this I was going to tell you every time like a few days before my period I always get excruciating pains I have this pain reliever that I take and it knocks me out every time so I took it and the next day I woke up in the morning to find Desmond fighting his friend that came over. I don't understand the connection. Desmond has sent his friend to come over to tell me that he won't be coming home. And I remember I was on the floor because I was in so much pain, I couldn't stay on the bed. Remember, I took the medication, so I was knocked out. His friend tried to help me up, and next thing, my friend saw us and, 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 and called Desmond to tell him that his friend was on top of me. Wait. You had your friend over and Desmond had his? Yes. Should I bring mine as well? It's not funny. Do you see me laughing? Why would Desmond send someone to tell you he won't return? Why can't he call you himself? I don't know. Ask him. Two of you are sounding very funny. I don't know the story at all. Nicole, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll just have to call her and tell her that I can't make it again today. I don't feel very well. Sorry, I, I, I didn't hear what she said. When did that happen? How? Please, where are you right now? I am coming to meet you. Okay, I'll be there shortly. What is it? Ronnie just took over my project. The same Ronnie I know? Yes. I... I thought... I thought you two cut ties. That's the friend that told Desmond that his friend was on top of me. Ronnie was in this house? Listen, sister, I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Let me get ready. I need to go see Nicole real quick. I'll be at the office shortly, sir. I hope there's no problem, sir. 
I'll be with each other, sir. All right, sir. What exactly is going on? I'm not sure. Ronnie came representing you this morning. She stole this from my computer. We're not working together. And how did she have access to your computer? She came over to mine. Nicole, you know our history together. We started our first company together and obviously, you know this, Nicole. Samantha, you told her everything, everything. Because she knew exactly what she'd say when she got to my boss. She acted like she was in the dumps. How would I have known that she's competition? Did she get the job? Samantha, she did. Nicole, I have worked so hard. So hard for 15 months for this project. I was waiting for you when my boss called me and said that your partner came and she said you weren't feeling well. She even signed you on. I was shocked. So I went to cross check the company's name and I found out that it was not in your name. Hey, then how then was it easy for her to get the job? Because my boss remembers you two together. She doesn't remember the company names but she focuses on the individuals running the companies. Samantha, you told Ronnie a lot. She knew a lot. She even had your proposal. She knew more than enough. Nicole, Nicole, you have to tell her that this is a scam. Make sure Ronnie delivers. I mean, I can't stand in front of my boss and start telling her you and Ronnie's story. I can't. Are you not? Yes, that. Because I told you the truth. I saw you as a friend and I decided to tell you the truth. I mean, you messed up. I did not feel that way when you punched me on the face for something I did not do. Uh, well, I, I might have jumped too early on you because I was mad at the possibility of you and my wife. But that doesn't still give you the guts to have done what you did. This caught me the bullshit because you always think you're the one that worked too hard. Yes, that. Yes, that. You don't want to have me as your enemy, oh. Don't you think I'm scared of you? Oh. Yes, that you should, though. Because in this industry, I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. I will hold you down. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny? Yes, that. That's not. You're playing with fire. You're playing with fire. I'm going to do anything. Mm -hmm. You, you feel the position looks cool on you, Abby? Definitely. Enjoy it, no problem. Oh, really? Okay. No, please. Maybe there is a way to reach Ronnie. And do what with her exactly? Collaborate with her. You can't let her take what you've worked so hard for. Well, you think she wants to collaborate with me? If she wanted to, she would have spoken to me. Not go behind my back to steal my work. 
sincerely, I didn't even know you two are now in talking terms. She just called me out of the blues. She said her world was coming to an end. I had to help her, sis. She's my childhood friend. Not Samantha. How did you and your husband allow people walk into your lives and do this? How did you and Desmond grow apart like this? I don't know. Well, I need you to know the next step you will be taking. Well, I don't. Samantha, this is not the time to mourn. This is the time to do something. Something! Something like what, sis? She has blocked me on all platforms. And Nicole, my friend, who usually helps, has her hands tied right now. She can't do anything anymore. What am I supposed to do? What? I can't stay. I can't leave my husband and the kids for a long time. I do need a babysitter. I'll be fine. What are you doing about the hybrid? It's not cancerous and it's not rare right now. It's just the pains that I've had to deal with. And I'm already talking to a specialist, so it's not like I'm taking it for granted. Does this one know? Yes, he knows, even though he pretends not to. Why would he pretend? I don't know this one to be that kind of a person. Well, he saw me in pain and he walked out as if he didn't see anything. If I was going to die, I would have died watching him walk out of the room. I don't know what has happened to the two of you, but nothing is as stupid as the way both of you are drifting apart. Whatever you must do to bring back that excitement you used to have about Desmond, you better do it. That's my idea. In marriage, there is no soonness. Listen, you seem not to get the point. I mean, my promotion has just been taken away from me. No, now, I mean, we all sit with Olga to take decisions now. You can speak. Just talk to him on my behalf, and I believe he would listen to you. Just a stop to be in the back. Please, please, please. Yes, I'll be waiting. Thank you. Can feel your love though you're right next to me. It's easy enough to see. To see. We're drifting apart. Everything is not fine. What happened? My promotion has just been taken away from me. I mean, by that, that, that fool, I, I, I called a friend. What I brought home. That I brought home to work with me. Is this the same guy that was supposedly on top of your wife? Yes. That's not. Have you considered the possibility that the story about your wife and this guy is not true. And how does that give me back my promotion? At least it helps take care of whatever thing going on between the two of you. Listen, I am not focused on that idiot, that fool who has decided to make himself my enemy. And nothing more. You think he's your only enemy? You and your wife are horrible enemies. Listen, I am not your sister's enemy. Not in any way. Far from it. Oh, yes, you are. And she is your enemy. You two don't have each other's back. You left your house porous and let people walk in. And within a little time, look. Look the level of damage they've done. I'm so, sh I'm so shocked at the both of you. Listen, I mean, the problem between your sister and I didn't just start overnight. I mean, this has been there for, for ages. That is how it starts. 
That is how it usually is. And that little by little, it becomes impossible to remedy. I am leaving today because I have a family that I cannot abandon. Desmond, your wife said she has nothing, nothing to do with this guy. And I think you know that to be the truth. So I'm just going to say this to you. You two can come together, be a team, Maybe help each other resolve whatever work problems you are facing right now. But if not, then good luck as both of you destroy what would have been a beautiful marriage. I've been through Can feel your love Though you're right next to me It's easy enough to see To see yeah. We're drifting apart And it's hard to believe That my better half is sleeping away We're only inches apart but why does your heart feel so far feel so away from me? And when it's all said and done, all said and done there's no other one I'd rather fight life's battle with. Don't know how we got here, how we got here. but I'm so filled with fear. Samantha, I can't. What do you mean you can't do? So how does telling me where the training is taking place make anything go bad? Why do you even want to know where she's organizing the training? Because I need to speak. Then call her phone or send her a message. I wish she's blocked me everywhere. Then send an email. Nicole, come on. <sighs> Samantha, you already know how this whole process works. But let me lay it out to you so that you can understand why you shouldn't ask me these questions. It's okay, I understand the process. I will still say it. Our company manages training development of staff members of about 15 companies. Then we employ the services of this training and development institute or establishment. Your proposal was supposed to handle 150 staffs across four companies. And my job here is to make sure that every training happen in record times and that it is documented. I know how it works. Then you should know that the moment that your proposal got signed, the timeline in that proposal got activated. And if anything happens or interrupts it, I will be losing my job. So what you're trying to say is you don't really care who does the job as long as it's done? Sometimes. It's fine. I won't call you about it again. So who took your job? How did she manage to take your job? Get your job. She stole my proposal from my laptop. I still don't understand how she got your job. Honestly, why are you asking me this many questions? Really? I mean, how has asking for clarity from you become asking too much questions? What do you even care? Do you care? I mean, listen. I just lost my own promotion too. But here I am asking you about your own loss. I didn't hear that. Now, you, now you've heard it. Kessa sold me out. 
and instantly was made the art and creative director. Well, I got suspended. Desmond, you do know that nothing happened between Kester and I, right? I mean, I was in pain that morning and you walked away from me. You totally ignored me. Well, you ignore me too all the time. Listen, I don't care how you want to spin this Kester story around. But you do know the kind of pains I'm always in. And the medication I take knocks me off. And that's what she saw. Listen, I do not care what Kester told you or what Ronnie has said. That's none of my business. Can feel your love though you're right next to me. It's easy enough to see. To see. Yeah. We're drifting apart. You know who could have been What? You heard me. Yes, obviously we might not care about each other, but we shouldn't allow those idiots get away with what they've done. And how do you propose we do that? Okay. Now, um, my boss is fond of you. You could talk to him. And hopefully I'll get my job back. While on the other hand, I'll try and find out where Ronnie is. Possibly try to get her to see me. How are you going to do that? Why don't you worry yourself about what you will tell my boss? I'll leave the rest for me. Seems like an impossible feat, you know. Well, I didn't say it was going to come easy. Besides, what are you doing with your time? You don't know your husband wouldn't like the idea of you and I alone? I tried to see you inside, but they won't let me in. You have to be on an appointment. Congratulations on your promotion. You do realize I don't believe that. You're right. You shouldn't. So what do you want? I am only having this conversation because you were polite to me when I visited the house. You're also very kind. So, it's easy. What do you want? I want him fired. By him you mean Desmond, your husband? Yes. <laughs> Come on, Samantha. I know you two are not as close as I would expect. But, why do you want him fired? I mean, you heard me a while ago. You still had your phone tree to accuse me of cheating on him with you. Yeah, this one was irrational that day. But I don't care what Mom says he sells to people about me. I only took what belongs to me. So you mean he stole the position from you in the first place? He actually got it in the first place because the Andy was fond of you both. Mm -hmm. I was at the wedding, remember? And the Andy was the chairman. So I know for a matter of fact that you and Desmond mean a lot to him. In fact, Desmond got suspended because of that relationship. He should have been fired. Well, it's because of that relationship I, I didn't want to go to the MD because he'll start probing and he'll want to, you know, settle us, you know, try to reconcile us. Okay, I know of something you can tell the MD that will change everything. Really? Mm -hmm. What? How about you tell him that Desmond abuses you? I know the MD. He will never tolerate it. <laughs> but I don't have any bruises on my body. Hey, come on. You don't have to. All you need to do is just convince him. You're right. I'm going to book an appointment to see the MD right away. Okay. You're absolutely right. And hey, make sure you are the best creative director ever. Of course, I will. Bye. And why are you 
Bruce Smiley? Because I think Samantha same to you. But you know, we don't have that kind of relationship. At least not anymore. You know, I was wondering what happened. You both seem pretty cold to each other. But then, why did you ask where I'm conducting the training? Oh, well, I felt um, you might not want to leave the venue. So I had to ask. I have capable hands. I don't need to be there. So tell me, why did you call me? I guess I... I'm curious about something. What? Do you like Kester? <laughs> what? Because I... I was just wondering why you had to reach out to me the moment you realized it was close to my wife. I just met the guy for the first time. There is such thing as love at first sight, you know. Uh. So, Kester sent you here? Of course not. I mean, not after the fight we had. Uh, I don't think I would want to be friends with him ever again. You are here on your own then? Yes, I am. Well, I don't have feelings for Kester. How about me? Oh, you know what? Forget I asked, okay? Desmond. Yes? Do you remember how we met? Me, you, Samantha? Mm, yes. At a mutual friend's birthday party. You remember you and I talked that night for several hours? Yes, I remember. So, when did you take some of this number? Uh, yes, uh, that was while we were leaving the party. And you took mine as well while we were talking? Yes, I did. But you never called. But I never knew you liked it. <laughs> Desmond, I remember telling you just five minutes into a conversation that I liked you. Uh, well, I thought you were just being nice. So I thought. You know, I waited for your call that night. I waited for several weeks, but you never called. Then one morning, Samantha comes to my house very happy, excited about this guy she just said yes to at the birthday party. She said the guy had called her for several hours of every day, took her out on lunch and dinner dates. This one, that guy turned out to be you. You know what? I have to go. No, no, no. I mean, we haven't eaten yet. Besides, we still have a lot to talk about. Yes, I know. I'll just uh, take the food out. Okay? Thank you so much for dinner. All right? Um, waiter, please come. I just saw Ronnie. She picked you up. Yes, she did. And, and what did she say? What about? About giving me my contract back. I haven't gotten there yet. Did you see my boss? I saw Kester. You saw Kester? I mean, what are you seeing Kester for? <laughs> Don't worry. He wasn't on top of me this time. 
But that's not the point. Hey, listen. I haven't told you what to do with Ronnie. Why do you want to tell me what to do with my job? I know what the goal is. Excuse me. Uh, do you remember that? What? Do you remember how we met? What has how we met got to do with anything? Ronnie remembers. She wasn't there when I said yes to you. But she was there when we met. At a party? Yes. Okay, okay, so what are you saying? She was... Well, she expected me to have called her weeks after, but instead I called you. Hold on a second. Are you trying to say that? No, this is it. I mean, Ronnie has been jealous of you all this while. She expected me to have called her, not you. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tell me that Ronnie wanted you? Wanted? Ronnie wants me. She told you that? Yes, she did. She's mad. She's mad. In fact, both of you are mad. Yes. Why did she not take your job? You that didn't call her back. Why did she take mine? Both of you are mad. Is it because of his suspension? Sir, how will an expectant mother survive when her husband is jobless? Are you pregnant? I, I don't know what to say to that now, sir. It's, it's okay. I know it's a private one. I want you to feel quite comfortable enough to share it. Um, Thank you so much, sir, for understanding. It's okay. It's okay. Samantha, you know how much I feel about you and Desmond. He disappointed me. I'm sorry, sir. He was only trying to help an old friend. They are our competitors. Sir, I know. Honestly, they tried to get him. They tried everything possible. You see, they even offered him the post of a manager, but he refused. He never told me this. Yes, he was, he wasn't sure how you would take it. And besides, they tried, they even gave him a lot of money. They tried to bribe him. He refused, and that's why they asked him to set up their UI and UX team. But he never told me anything about this. Sir, he was just scared. He didn't want you to feel that he's not loyal to you. You should have let me manage my own emotions. I'm sorry, sir. No, 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 not in your condition. No, 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 please, no, no. Where is he now? He's at home. Is he good to you? Yes, sir, he's very good to me. Please ignore whatever Kester said. No, 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 don't worry about Kester. I will deal with this situation. Thank you, sir. Is this still with this company? No, 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 sir. He stopped the moment he got suspended, and he's been too sad to do anything. <sighs> Pregnancy look good on you. Thank you, sir. Next time, don't come sad again, okay? Thank you, sir. It's okay. Um, I will contact him soon on my own decision. Thank you very much. 
So I know you're a very busy man, so let me just run along right now. No, no, would you like to take anything or no, drink? No, sir. I'm good. Okay. Yes, sir. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Please take care of yourself. Thank it's you. Okay. Okay, My sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Listen, I am not avoiding you. I mean, the way you walked out of that restaurant the other day left me with no option than to just let you be. I requested we sit and talk. But you didn't give me the opportunity to say a word. All you did was just to pack your food and you left. Uh, okay, if you want us to talk again, it's fine. I'm cool with it. Yeah, just send me the address and I'll be there. Tomorrow is fine. It's fine. All right. how you went to see my boss? Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He said he'll contact you. When? I don't know, soon. This week, next week? Why are you asking me all these questions? Are you even doing anything for me? Of course I am. I mean, we have an agreement, don't we? Can feel your love though you right next to me Sabatha, why are you crying? I don't know. What did my boss say to you? It's not what he said. I just don't know how I feel. Stop staring at me. I'm fine. How can you be fine? You're crying. You woke up crying. It's none of your business. Just leave me alone. surprised because after our last meeting it didn't appear like you wanted to see me it felt you wanted to give me some distance I was just sorry. look Ronnie I'm so sorry you felt that way I'm sorry that it appeared I collected your number for nothing I mean I never knew you liked me in that kind of way Water under the bridge now. 
So tell me, what was it you wanted to ask me? I got more curious uh, after our last meeting about you saying something concerning taking the project away from Samantha because you were angry at me. Angry at you? I'm not angry at you, I'm angry at Samantha. The day she brought you home, she insisted on using the guest room. Though I wanted to use it, but she insisted you had to stay there. Oh, please. She was just trying to cover up for what she did. We both have a master's in training and development from the same school, you know? Yes, I know. I know. Am I the best prep school? Samantha and I agreed to open a company. You know, do this training for high profile companies, capacity building for twins of women and youth. But she had a plan as to how she wanted to run the company. But you both were supposed to make the decisions. Exactly. I got upset and left. She registered under company and came back to the market with our exact goals and vision. We met Nicole together. Nicole introduced us to her boss, but Samantha went behind my back to meet Nicole's boss and planned on how to run the project by herself. And that was how we heard. <laughs> yes. I knew what to do, so I set a team and called Samantha. I knew exactly what to say to her and I said it. And she bought it. <laughs> Look, I'm not into this whole training and development thing, okay? I'm just happy that I'm going to get paid and Samantha won't. Well, I hope you don't get uh, to tell Nicole this. Never, she will not get a word. <laughs> she thinks I'm um, passionate about this training thing. <laughs> but I'm not. Samantha cannot have you and the project. Never. Ronnie, can you do me a favor, please? I need you to do me a favor. Make sure Samantha doesn't get near that project. So she won't. Good. What's going on with you too? Though? You don't seem to care about her that much anymore. I don't. Nice. So, can we see often? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll call you. Cheers to that. <laughs> Still crying. Am I supposed to cry forever? <sighs> what? You know, um, every time I get to meet with Ronnie, she reminds me of us a few years ago. What did she say about me today? You need to call Nicole now. No, I can't. I promised I wasn't going to call her on this issue anymore. Okay. Here. I've never seen this phone before. Yes, I just got it uh, purposely for my meeting with Ronnie. All we discussed is in there. 
She said some things. Yes, she did. This is so deep in okay, love, great. Put it on speaker so I'll know my next move. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Can feel your love yes, good. Sir. Are you aware that your wife came to see me? Yes, she told me. Good. I'm only calling you because of her. I'm sorry, sir. Truth is, you should have told me when these people were poaching you. I'm sorry, sir. On a side note, is your wife pregnant? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid I might not be able to answer that, sir. Mr. Man, you really need to find out so you can take better care of her. She looked pregnant to me. Alright, that's it, is it? Well, are you done with the company? Yes, sir. Well, you have the next two weeks to get back to me. This will be the very last time you will make me thus trust you. I'm sorry, sir. You can use my doctor. Um, for your wife, it's very good. Thank you very much, sir. My regards to your wife. Sure, yes, sir. Samantha, this is good news. Samantha, we're only in Jesus' But why does your heart feel so far away from me? And when it's all Listen, said, I don't know how to call it. I'm grateful for what you do. When it's all said and done, there's no other one I'd rather fight life's battle away. Oh, I saw it. And I will so mess this up for her. <laughs> She's using my job as a revenge ploy. <laughs> Is she mad? Is it too late to do something? Even if it will cost me my job, I don't care. I am halting funding for her training. I'm going to the account department right now. Well, the training has taken off already, but she's only done a few days. Well, I think you might want to put up your team together for this. How can she say she doesn't care about the quality of the training? These companies retain us because we give their staff the best quality training possible. Is she high? Samantha, it was you and the best facilitators you lined up that made me start fighting for you in the first place. Please, you need to pick this up without my boss noticing the difference. So, how about funds? I mean, her company details are what you guys have. I will swap it immediately, as soon as I get to the office. Thank you, Nico. Samantha, I need the right review for this training. You'll get it. Later. Can feel your love, though you right next to me. It's easy enough to see. To see. Yeah. We're drifting apart and it's hard to believe that my better half is sleeping away. The first. Did the recording help? Yes, it did. She's trying to get me back. Oh. Can she? Yes, she can. And I will not be surprised if she already called Ronnie. I mean, she's that upset. Wow. That's good. I'm glad it helped. Thank you. But remember... I told you that each time I met with Ronnie reminded me of us 
few years ago. Yes, you mentioned. Yes, there will be moments where we were quite inseparable. I don't want to ever go back there again. Why? There's a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Yes, a lot of water has gone under the bridge, I know. But just take a look at how we've been able to help each other simply by just, you know, coming together. Off for so long, and it's just trying to find its way out. Oh, you're pregnant. Please, don't listen to your boss. It's just because of the dress I wore. I tried to make him believe that I'm pregnant so he can reinstate you, and clearly, it worked. Thank you. I I got a test kit. We agreed not to put ourselves under any more pressure. Listen, it's been months now. And this was what we looked forward to. I don't want to be disappointed. No, let's go through this together. Let's make it an act that we always looked forward to. Like always did before. It's fine. You're gonna make it. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> Let me go get it. What are you doing here? I'm talking to you. What are you doing here? I trusted you. I told you how I felt and used it against me. You came into my home to add to the problems you already had. That's what is wrong with you? Hey, what is this? What are you doing in my house? Eh? What are you doing here? Are you crazy? What's the matter? Take it easy, okay? No, 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 no. Let me ask her. What are you doing here? You think having Nicole shut me out to stop me? Stop you? Stop me from what exactly? No, 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 no. Stop me from what? No, wait, no. Let me ask her now. Stop me from what exactly? From taking my husband or a business that you don't even care about? No, tell me. And you had your audacity to enter my house. Do you want me to break your head? Sorry. Do you want me to break your head? R Ronnie, uh, please leave. Leave. I spent money on that project and I need it. I will chop your money. Hey, hey. I will chop your money with all pleasure. Nonsense. So, Master, listen, I need my money back. I thought you said you were broke. Where did the money come from? Oh. Was that why you played me, Smiles Woman? Because you thought I was broke and I was on the floor? Oh, my darling, you would always remain on the floor. For you to snoop around for three years just to get my husband. Darling, you are on the floor. And you will keep watching me while I keep rising, okay? And I will be the biggest human resource manager the world has ever seen. And you will never have my husband. See? That's why our business together never worked. Because you thought you were better than me. No, darling. Our business never worked because you were not interested. You were always sapping my energy. And when I confronted you, what did you say? You said I was trying to prove superiority over you. And then you walked away. Just like right now, you're going to leave my house and walk out of my life for good. Ronnie, uh, please leave. Uh, we'll talk about the money later, please, okay? Leave. Desmond, you didn't have to do what you did. Wait, are you still cutting eyes on my husband? No, no, no. Let me understand what you are doing. Are you still cutting eyes on my husband? Eh? Hold on, hold on. She said I am my husband. When did you become a fighter? Eh? Why didn't you let me slap her? You were enjoying the eye, Nabi. You were enjoying it. Don't worry. Let me go and meet her. No. Sit down. Sit down. What is wrong with you? Can feel your love though you're right next to me. It's easy enough to see. It. 
to see We drift in apart And it's hard to believe that My better half is sleeping away We're only inches apart But why does your heart feel so fine? It's fine We can wait Wait for what? Wait for another time to conduct another test, of course. Why wait when I'm already pregnant? You what? I'm pregnant. Oh my goodness! You're pregnant! You carry my baby! You want me to push me for you? Right? <laughs> <laughs> do that. Tell me anything you want me to do. Oh. Oh. All right, you know what? Uh, we, I'll take you for dinner, and um, let's start this whole thing all over again. I mean, even better than the way it was. Uh, you and I stuck together. Hmm? about you. I saw you pregnant. You saw me pregnant? Yes, and it got me worried. Uh, why would that get you worried? Samantha, you can't raise a child in that house by the way you and Desmond behave towards each other. Well, sis, so much has happened in so little time. When was the last time you slept with your husband? Not too long ago. I was expecting to hear this morning or last night. How can you get pregnant when you two are talking not quite long? You know what, sis? Call me tomorrow and ask the same question. Samantha, I'm not joking. And I'm not laughing. You gotta go now, sis. Fine. Sis, please, work things out with your husband, okay? And say hello to him for me. Of course I will. You know, the last time we um, we made love, it was because we were both drunk. And I remember how much we hated each other. I remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You know what, sweetheart? How about we talk about those things we avoided talking about? I mean, things we never wanted to talk about. Okay. Did you know I was... I felt... taken for granted. I felt that too. Sorry about three years ago. I am. Um, 
I've moved past that. I felt cheating on you planted a seed. Yes, it did. But we also let a lot of things make us drift apart. Yes, you cheated on me. And I honestly have forgiven you. Can feel your love though and you're right next to me. If there is an iota of doubt or pain right now, I have let go of it. I promise. That my better half Are you sure of this? Yes. We're only inches apart. But why does your heart feel oh, so far feels. away from me? And when it's all said and done, there's no other one. <laughs> Wish with all my heart that we can go back to the start when we were so deep in love. It was more than enough, and forever was a guarantee. Can feel your love though you're right next to me. Keep up my 